Hey love, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this hair, which is from March Queen. I went ahead and bleached it, toned it, made it into a wig. It is a lace frontal. They did send me four bundles of their body wave hair. I do believe the bundles, if I'm not mistaken, were 222s, a 2018 and 18 inch frontal. I'll make sure to put all the specs below for you guys. So I didn't really want it so long because as you guys can see at the ends, it was a little bit brassier. Plus the end seemed like it was just thinner. There was more body and volume at the top portion. So I just wanted to cut it into something shorter. So I'm just going to take my cutting shears and just angle it and just cut downwards like on a slant. Kind of like just basically layering it, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just layering it. Layering it. I don't want it to have a blunt cut, so I'm just going to layer it and just kind of make it even, or I am making it even actually. So the color probably appears a little bit brassy, and that's due just to the lighting. I did have my vlogging camera, and I had it in front of the window, so I do apologize for the discoloration. Um, but the hair is actually a lot more toned than you see here. But it was an actual like project. Um, I actually just made the unit and its dark color state. It was all like, you know, the natural color, dark brown or black, whatever you want to call it. But I didn't want to leave it like that because I wanted something different. So at first I was just going to just give it some streaks in the front. And then I had so much bleach left over because I didn't make too much and I hate to waste anything. So I decided to just do the color or bleach the ends. So that's what I did. But in the frontal area, I did use, or basically for the whole entire unit, I used a 30 develop, 30 volume developer along with the Salon Care Basine Lights bleaching powder in the color blue. And the color blue is more or less for darker color hair. It gives off less brassy tones, which I feel is like a lie. So anyway, once I did that, the hair was still black and it had like, you know, lighter streaks in it. And I really didn't like it because the hair to me seemed a little bit too dark. So I decided to go and get some Willow Color Charm uh, toner in T14. And I used a 30 developer. So that way the 30 developer would mask the dark hair. It would actually just lighten and lift the hair from a dark, dark color to a more or less brown tone. Um, and that's what normally happens when you use a 30. If you use a 20 developer, it will lighten the hair just a little bit, just the portions. When I say lighten, I mean the portions that you didn't like bleach. But I wanted it to really lighten it, so I decided to use a 30, devel 30 volume developer on the hair. And it actually came out really nice. So like I was saying, at first I just used a 30 volume developer and the bleach. And then in the front, I decided to go over that bleach with a um, a 40 volume developer. So I used both at one time and that's how I got like really, really light streaks. So basically I bleached the entire wig, or not the entire wig, but I bleached the front and the back with a 30 volume developer and the purple or the blue Lucene bleaching powder. And I did run out of that a little bit and I ran out of 30 volume developer also so I had to use my 40 and so I used the 40 and then I went right on top of the 30 with the 40 and made lighter streaks in the front area so that's why it's like more highlighted in the front which it actually came out really nice but like I said I didn't like it really too long because you know there was more volume and height at the top where the, sh the hair was shortest so I just decided to cut it I didn't really want it too long anyway because I don't know. I don't really want my hair to be like 22 or 24 inches. I think I'm kind of like over that really, really long length. So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to do something different. And that's what I decided to do. So here you just see me curling the unit. And I tried to get the camera at an angle where you can see much better. Um, and all I do is put a little bit of styling mousse on the back of my hand. And I do rub it into the hair. This allows the hair just to be able to basically curl and hold the curl a lot easier also tame the flyaways or any frizziness and then i'll just comb it through and i'll then take my barrel curler and i will just kind of like wrap it around and while i'm wrapping it i will twist the hair around and that makes it just like so just like that and it gives it kind of like you know like blunt or not even blunt but just kind of like beachy type waves especially if you finger comb it depending on how much hair you put on the barrel depends on how the waves will come out. So 
I didn't really want too big of a barrel or too big of a curl or too tight of a curl, excuse me. So that's the reason why I put more hair and also I decided to use a bigger barrel. So the, for the most part, for the frontal, I did pre-bleach the frontal so that way the knots would just, you know, look a lot more natural. And I did tweeze the hairline, which will also allow it to look more natural. Now the hairline was already, already a pre-plugged frontal, but you know, you always have to customize these frontals even if you buy the wig. You still will need to customize it and make it look like it's your own wig, your own hair. So that is what I did and then I went ahead and just decided that I wanted to color it. It was more or less like a spur of the moment thing. It seems like when I do a project that I really am wanting to do, it doesn't come out as I expected. But then when I'm just doing something at the spur of the moment, and it's kind of like an accident, it kind of turns out better than I planned. So I was glad that this did turn out like that. Um, I had no intentions on using the toner, the Well of Color Charm toner, but like I said, I really wasn't feeling like the black hair. So finally I did finish curling the unit. It took me a minute and this is what it actually looks like. So it looks much better now. You know, it doesn't look so brassy from the actual sunlight. I did sew an elastic band in it. I didn't put any combs in the front, but I did put three of them in the back. And I used my deluxe wig making cap, which has an adjustable strap in the back. Now we're gonna go ahead and style this baby. Now, as you guys can see, the front does have like lighter blondes, and I was so happy about how it came out. Like seriously, for it to be a mistake, like not even a mistake, a spur of the moment thing, it came out absolutely really nice. So you wanna go ahead and take like a small pair of scissors, I always suggest that, and you wanna cut away the lace. Don't cut too close to the hairline because when you cut too close to the hairline, your baby hairs will actually start to, you know, fall out. It'll fall out. They'll bald and stuff like that. So this is the charm, called Willow Code Charm I used, which was the T14 and the 30 Developer, just to tone down the darkness so you don't see any dark roots or anything. I just left it as is. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that same side. Like I said, you don't want it to be too close to the hairline. Now, I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to customize the ear tabs as you guys see they're way too big they're always like this even on a lace front or full lace wig that you buy they seem like you always have to cut off excess lace so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to position the comb right above my ear like directly above it so that way the cap will fit properly and you want to do that with a good fine comb so that way you get like a really good part really good straight part and you just want to take your time. Like I said, I suggest using a small pair of scissors, preferably a curved pair because I love the curved scissors. They make cutting lace front a lot easier so that way you don't get that straight blunt cross cut. And this is how much hair that I removed. And you just want to repeat that same process on the opposite side. Now it's time to make me some baby hairs and also a sideburn. I kind of like the sideburns. I think that's what you call them, right? If I'm not right, then please let me know down below. But that's what I call them. And I'm just going to take my eyebrow trimmer and I'm just going to cut like in a slanted position. You don't want to cut it too close or you don't want to cut it with blunt scissors. And now I did forget to clean up my makeup prior to putting the wig on, like clean the hairline. So I'm just going to use my, char my charcoal baby wipes. And then I'm going to apply some of my favorite Pump It Up Super Hold Gold hairspray. And I'm going to apply that on my hairline. I'm going to blow dry it just a little bit. And you don't want to blow dry it all the way dry, but you just want to blow dry just a little bit. And you want to go ahead and position your wig down, and you just want to blow dry it. Now, normally you'll see me do the mousse first and then the hairspray, but I decided to do it different this time. Um, and not even different this time because sometimes I do also do it this way. This will also hold it even longer. So if you do put the hairspray on the inside of the lace, like right by your skin, and then blow dry and then go back over it once you have the wig all laid down. Girl, your wig will be on tight. Trust me when I tell you, I have this wig on right now. Not this one in the video, but another wig that I put on on um, Saturday and it is already Wednesday. So listen, hunties, and I didn't even have to do anything, but I did the same method here. So once again, I'm just cutting these baby hairs and I'm just using an eyebrow trimmer. You can use a razor comb too. Now for the fun part, which is the sculpting of the baby hairs. I know, right? Where's my green toothbrush? So I tried to switch it up. This brush is just as good too. 
So I'm gonna use that with some of my Dollar Tree Styling Mousse just to sculpt my baby hairs. I don't use gel to sculpt them because it gets them really hard. And plus, once I sculpted them into place and with like a certain curve, I can just go right back in with like my rat tail comb, the end of it, and just pull the hairs up. So right here, you do see me spraying some of the pump it up on like the edges and the lace. And this is the part, the part where I'm gonna take the blow dryer and I'm gonna secure the wig even more so that way it definitely will be on for days at a time. You wanna use your blow dryer on like a cool to medium heat. I switch back and forth, like one minute I'll use cool, then the next minute I'll use um, medium heat. I won't use hot, hot heat because girl, I ain't trying to be giving myself no third degree burns. So this is what it looks like in the middle and you wanna repeat the same steps that I just did once again on the opposite side. So this is how the wig looks with it parted in the middle. As you guys can see, there is some of the blonde right there in the front, which is really pretty and it kind of like changes colors. I love the color of this. You can wear it in the fall, in the winter, in the spring, in the summer. Aunties, you can just do all different types of things depending on where you part the wig at is where you will see certain type of blonde colors. So I'm just going to tame away those little flyaway hairs with my wax stick. And I'm also going to use my hot comb that I did purchase from Walmart. Not my fave, but hey, it's going to have to work for the meantime. I'm just going to straighten out some of the bottoms because I really didn't want the bottoms to be too straight. Um, curl. I'm just going to take my hot comb and kind of like run through that. But I like the way the blonde came out, as you guys can see right here. There is a lot of blondes underneath. And depending on the way you style it, like I stated, you can either flip it over to the left or to the right and you'll get a lot more blonde showing versus leaving it as the middle part. But it's basically up to your preference. And I'm just going to smooth down my edges right here. The wig came out nice though. It did shed a little bit because you know, I had to you know brush it through, but it is what it is. Now, just to make my scalp look a little bit more natural, I don't know why I did this, but I decided just to use some pressed powder because I think I didn't have dark roots, so the wig was actually blending in uh, with my own skin tone a little bit. So I needed some of uh, a pressed powder just so that you could see my scalp a little bit better. So as you guys see right here, this is what it looks like in the middle part. And I like it. It's a little bit more toned down with the color versus in, um, the flip over style. And I will show you guys that in a second, but I just want you to see how it looks with a middle part, which is still very pretty, and it's kind of like classic. Now, as you guys see, the edges are laid, and I did pre-tweeze the hairline, as I stated. And now I'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like parted on each side, so that way you can get the gist of how the blonde will just showcase a lot more, depending on which way you style the unit. I'm just gonna take my flat iron and just be able to part it over to the side. And if you see, you do see more of a blondish honey blonde color versus it being in the middle where you've seen just a little. I do like it more part on the side because you can see more of the blonde or the honey blonde color. It just really makes the wig cut, um, pop a lot with the blonde showing and it's just totally different. There's different colors in this wig. There's honey blonde, there's like an auburn brown, and then there's a chestnut brown. So I do like the way the colors came together. It reminds me a lot of the fall and that's the one thing that I like the most about this unit, especially because it was more or less like a spur of the moment, moment type of idea that I had. I wasn't really planning on doing this until after I made the wig and then I decided, girl, you got enough dark wigs. Let's try something different. I do apologize that I didn't show you guys everything on camera, but I'll definitely get around to that sooner or later. Okay, you guys. So this is finally the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was not too long to see me make the process of this wig. Um, it came out as I really wasn't expecting this because I just wanted something totally different but I'm glad that I cut it because it just was too long and it was kind of thinned at the ends to me so I definitely wanted to just give it like a more shorter kind of like chic look you know what I mean I think it came out really well especially just for like on the whim type of thing I didn't want it to leave it dark so that's the reason why I just put 30 developer on the entire unit along with the toner which was the t14 and i actually think it came out really really nice um and then you know the back is just one 
it's just colored like this so it came out really good you know I did use two different color bleaches or two different strength bleaches rather and so that's how I actually ended up getting like the really blonde right here um, for the really blonde I first put a 30 developer in my hair and then for the ends I put a 40 and then I went back over the 30 with the 40 and just made it get a lot lighter so that's what I did um, and you know just with the toner you know because it was dark hair and I really didn't want to dark I think like this color is really pretty for the fall I just think it goes with just anything like seriously you could wear this color with anything and like you seen I did have it in the middle part and then I was kind of undecided but you can wear any type of way that's the reason why I wanted to show you the different kind of parts you can do with it you can either get more blonde if you part it to the sides or you can get a little bit less blonde if you part it in the middle so it's basically up to you but I think it came out really really cute and I do like it March Queen does have some really nice hair this is the fourth video that I've done with them so I really do highly recommend just checking them out you know a lot of hair sometimes gets a little bit dry for this part for this portion it didn't there's just a little bit of tiny hairs on the front so that I noticed that you know you can easily take care of that with like hairspray or wax um stuff but I mean it doesn't bother me but for those that it may bother just want to keep that in mind I thought I would throw that out there but you know everything other than that it came out perfect you know I did have to customize it because it was a little bit too big but I think it came out cute you know what I'm saying for the color hunties like yes you know so it was super easy I do like it um I hope you guys enjoy it and I will be back with an update really soon so make sure you stay tuned for that and let me know what you think of the color I love you guys and I'll see you on a soon to come video